This is problem number eight on the practice final. And this one is the one that's going to uh, bring uh, us to an application of the skills we were developing in the characteristic and mantissa uh, exercises way back at the beginning. And this is the reason we had those skills. This is that they, they do have application and it brings Boltzmann's law to bear as well. It gives us a better comprehension of Boltzmann's law and how it's applicable. And the question is, the vapor pressure of a liquid as a function of temperature is expressed by the Clausius-Clapeyron equation, which the equation is that the, the vapor pressure is equal to beta times an exponential term e to the minus delta H vaporization uh, divided by RT. And now um, this had you will recognize this term on the, this exponential term as a Boltzmann factor, and it represents the fraction of the molecules uh, at, at temperature T uh, that are going to have an energy, a kinetic energy greater than or equal to the, uh, that of the entropy of vaporization, delta H vaporization. And so uh, we're given the information that for water, the delta H vaporization, the enthalpy of vaporization, is equal to 40.7 kilojoules per mole. And the beta term, the pre-exponential in the clausius clapeyron equation, is 5.0 times 10 to the fifth atmospheres. And I ask you two questions. What fraction of the molecules have EK, which is the kinetic energy, greater than or equal to delta H vaporization at 27 degrees Celsius. And I will give you the following approximation, approximation that RT is about equal to 2.5 kilojoule per mole at 27 degrees Celsius. This is going to give us simplification. And now um, we're going to get to apply and practice some of the skills. Oh, well, by the way, and then part B is what is the vapor pressure of water at 27 degrees Celsius? Now, for part A, I simply have to uh, find the term in the exponent. Uh, the, 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 I, I need to know that delta H vaporization divided by RT, in this case, is equal to 40. 0.7 kilojoules per mole divided by 2.5 kilojoules per mole. And now, this is an easy thing to solve. You can almost do it in your head. Uh, 2.5 times 4 is 10, and 10 times 4 is 40. So it's going to be 4 times 4 is 16. This is going to be equal to and 16.2. You can easily verify that on a piece of scratch paper. And so, therefore, uh, 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 therefore, E minus delta H vaporization over R2 is equal to E to the minus 16.2. Now, we're going to have to draw upon the uh, uh, exercise uh, what was outlined, the skills outlined in exercise 8 of the characteristic and mantissa term. We know that this is equal, because E is equal to 10 to the 0 0.434 power to the minus 16.2. And so now we're almost done on a piece of scratch paper. We're going to need to multiply this through the rules of that exponents me to multiply in this case. All it ever comes down to at the end of the day is knowing when to add and when to multiply. Uh, so now I'll have to go on my scratch paper and multiply 16.2 times 0. 0.43. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That means that this is equal to 10 to the minus 7.0. Now we're going to draw upon some of the exercise, previous exercises in the characteristic and antithesis term, where I have to express this in terms of some positive number times some characteristic term where I have just a, a, a negative number in the exponent. And if you recall that exercise, I'm going to, the characteristic is going to be times 10 to the minus 8. So what I will do in practice, the short version, is I'll subtract the mantissa term from 1, and that's going to be on my scratch paper, 1.0000 minus uh, 0308, and 2, and 9, 6, and 9. Okay. And that means that this can be further factored and expressed as 10 to the 0 0.696 times 10 is a minus 8. And now we can recognize this is very close to uh, the 9 is 10 to the uh, oh, wait a six, nine, six. Oh, 9, 6, 9. Oh. 9, 6, 9. Dyslexia 4 cure found. 9 is equal to 10 to the 95.954. So this is close enough to that that I can say this is around equal to 9.0 times 10 to the minus 8. And now that's the fraction of the molecules that have kinetic energy greater than or equal to the uh, enthalpy of vaporization, which represents the, which represents the energy needed, the, the, the energy that has to be overcome to escape the attractive forces that are holding the molecules in the body of the liquid. Conceptually, that's good, and this is again using the Boltzmann term, the Boltzmann distribution being the most probable outcome. The most likely is based on probability, and since we're dealing with large numbers of molecules. Boltzmann term, the statistical approach, provides us a lot, a very solid foundation that we can base things on, that it becomes the inevitable. Now, for the second part of the problem, what is the vapor pressure of water at 27 degrees Celsius? Well, this becomes an almost trivial calculation. clausius clapeyron ion equation is that E vape is equal to, I have the beta term, which is 5.0 times 10 to the fifth atmospheres times the fraction of the Boltzmann factor, 9.0 times 10 to the minus 8. And that has no units. So now it's very simple. <clears throat> we multiply the mantissa terms, uh, and that's equal to 9, 9 times 5 is 45. And that would be times, and now the characteristic terms, the rules of x minus have me. <coughs> when I multiply two f of the numbers with the same base, I add the exponents. So 5 minus 8 times 10 to the minus 3. And that would be units of atmospheres. And that is going to be, uh, I can easily take this and now go 1, 2, 3. 0.045 atmospheres. So, so the, the, the take home point, uh, why we learned all those skills at the, at the very beginning of the characteristic of the mantis, is this equation is a simplification. It enables us to readily, without you know, uh, access all this information, and it gives a, it gives a much greater comprehension. So that's problem number eight.